Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to YY fast on PlayStation or on a controller. And I'm on a PlayStation 4, not a 5, so. Yeah, so, um, the first step to YYing is probably learning how to play Claw because, I mean, I could do it without, but as you see, I can't turn, like, like when I'm doing this. I cannot turn while looking at. I mean, I cannot. Why, why, and look at the same time. So because of that, first you should play claw, and if you, and if you don't feel like playing claw because, um, you notice you're not good at it when it comes to slide canceling. What I did was I got paddles and still play claw, which is a, which is what a lot of my friends do. So first I recommend doing that. Second. Once you already know how to play claw, but you can't do it consistently like how you want it, then I I recommend like um, first just practicing, even if you don't do it like to where it looks like it's glitching like that. At first, when I started, it looked I'm so used to it. When I first started, it looked like this, not a little bit faster, but kind of like that. And my MP5, I just kept switching. I couldn't do it because the MP5 you have to be fast with, so. But to first learn it, you don't want to just start spamming, like just spamming your Y or your uh, triangle button. First, you just want to first you want to slide cancel, and then do the Y Y, which is just pressing your Y button two times fast, like this. So then. Um, what you're gonna want to do is slide cancel, why why slide cancel why why, and then sometimes you might switch your gun, and then once you get used to it, then you can just go around the map just why why all you want. But another thing too is do not shake your screen. Like do not when you get to like when you're getting good at why why, don't just start doing that because you see movement people or the killing Twitch. Oh my god, killing Twitch streamers doing it. So you just wanna just why why and it doesn't really help you on anything it just makes it look your it just makes your game look flashy like when you kill somebody you just like and then you might knife them but yeah at first guys I like I wanted a why why fast because I used to watch a lot of the twitch streamers killing twitch streamers and I wanted to learn how to do what they do so I just kept trying claw and it wouldn't work and then one time I was playing with my friend and he told me first try slide canceling why why slide cancel why why slide cancel why why and then with the Amax is different because the Amax you could just spam I don't know if it's just me but when you first start and you really try to spam your thumb might let go of the joystick so just try as hard as you can to keep it there because at first that happened to me but I really do not recommend just spamming the button as hard as you can because that's gonna hurt your 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 finger or your hand. So just first start off slow and after a while you won't even notice that you're really doing the YY because it just becomes muscle memory. So then yeah, next thing you know then you'll be I'm shaking my screen a little bit because this is okay. Like maybe doing this but just make sure that you're not like they say going around the map popping a stim slide and then just because it looks cool but at the same time you're not doing anything the guy if he has good aim you're dead if he has bad aim then he won't hit you but you're so worried about doing that that you won't even notice that you have to shoot your gun so just don't do that Another thing too is like being smart while you're playing. So you're behind this wall, there's a guy right there. One thing, don't just do this, don't not just do that. That's, you're already gonna be in like a bad spot cause he, he can do the head glitch thing. So that's already a bad thing. So like, so first, I'm trying to think though how you could really play that. I don't even know. Maybe try by like, let's say he broke your place, right? And you're plating up. While you're plating, slide cancel look like real fast. Like your slide canceling look real fast to see what is he doing. Cause a lot of players, they'll kill you and this is them. They'll just come straight to you. And then, and then they'll, and then they'll just do a slide cancel and then jump. Like this is what they'll do. They'll stim, slide cancel. 
and then jump. Sometimes they kill you because you're low. But if you think about it, sometimes don't slide cancel. Sometimes if you want to jump, maybe like start from my right here, I'll say. Maybe like do that or maybe just do like a long slide and then jump. But I, I would not re recommend jumping at all. So what you should do is like when you're that guy's one shot, right? You're pushing do a long slide because he's going to think. He's gonna think that you're gonna do this, and he's gonna pre-fire you as soon as he hears you. But if you do a long slide, he's gonna be shooting over here where you're not at, and he's gonna be right there, so that you can kill him and then get your thirst. So yeah, that's another thing. And then make sure, like, make sure, like, where you're fighting, you know them. Like, make sure you know the place. Don't go to this new spot you never heard of, or you heard of, you landed a couple times and expect to drop a 30 over there, or 20. You gotta make sure you know your spot. Like, most of the time I go stronghold, control, sometimes prison, headquarters, living quarters, Nova, bio, a lot of those places. Most of the time I go control and stronghold and headquarters. I know all those spots, like I know the jump spots, I know a lot about it, which is why I go there. And then when you notice that you're doing really good at one spot, don't switch it up just because it's a hot drop. If you're good at one spot, then just keep it like that. Don't don't go switching it up because then, you know, you might mess up thinking that just because you did one good gameplay in one place, you could do it again in another place. Just keep the same spot. Don't Don't change it up. Don't do that. And then a lot of people... Um, I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure you've heard of it doing this Where you do this and yeah, this is really good for plating up so you can see where they are I Think I think it's like something I think it's like snake or it's not snake like it's something like that And then another thing is like I say there's a guy right there. He lit you up and you're right here First, I wouldn't really recommend doing this like I told you to do there because this is different from there. This, the guy, when he sees you, he's just going to shoot, but he might not hit you. Here is different because this isn't a wall. This is like whatever you want to call that. So if you peek right here, his chances of hitting you are high other than that wall because there you can go fast. Here, if you look real fast and do this, look where I am. I'm all the way over here in the open for not just him but anybody. Which is why I, that's which is why I told you to do that on the wall. But for here, let's say you're plating up, try to jump. Make sure you see him. If you see if you see that he's moving, don't just panic and then do this and then do that, thinking that you're gonna kill him. And maybe if you have stims, pop a stim, go over here, start plating. That's why I also suggest like you you have your loadout in the beginning. Your second loadout comes, get tempered. So that as soon as you get um, one shot or they kill you, you could quickly pop plates. So yeah, I, I recommend using tempered. Some people go for ghost and some other stuff, but tempered, I, I say you go for tempered. It's for sure the better perk. Um, and another thing too is like, if you're, you got a guy one shot, Try to like look around you because you could head glitch. You can do a lot of things like you can move without him knowing. Don't just go straight in because I have a lot of people that I'll play with. And they'll get a guy one shot and they'll just go right here and not notice their surroundings. Like if you were hitting gondola going top prison and there's a guy on the other side. Like do not just look at that guy. Look like tower. Make sure there's nobody tower. Make sure there's nobody grandmas. Aiming at you when you're on the gun, look at prison, they can't hit you unless you show yourself. And you know, just look at your surroundings, look at water tower. It's always the places you would never expect somebody to be, they'll be at. So just always make sure you check your surroundings after going, after landing or going at, at a place that's in the open. And then, when you're in a fight, like there's a guy, you're right in the open, he's sh shooting you from all the way over there. Try not to go crazy, like try not to make him... You want him to miss all his shots, but do not just like start doing this and then keep staying back here. You want to keep moving as you can, like as fast as you can to go go into cover. So maybe try like zigzagging. Like if he's in front, if he's like in the side of you, then maybe you could do like one of these and these and then.
then maybe pop a stim or pop something or do something. Or sometimes you just can't do nothing about it and end up dying. But don't just like, don't just stay in this area. Don't just stay in this area slide canceling or doing 360s trying to make a miss because that's not going to help you. You're just making yourself known to more people that look your way. So for sure don't do that. And just, yeah, just know your way around the map. And make sure you make sure you guys know your centering. Centering is a very important thing in the game that people don't know. If you guys do not know where centering is, it's like if I was popping this corner right here and putting my reticle, the the cross and the dot in the middle, right where you would expect people to be. Now I'm not saying just go like this and just do that. Like if you were gonna like if you were hacking, because people are gonna think you're walling. I'm saying more like just that. And just like I was cutting this corner, look right here, nobody's there, and I slide, do that. Like I kind of messed up there, but like have your reticle or not your reticle, like your crosshair, right where that person is gonna at least be near, so that if you don't have time to aim in, you don't have to aim in. Cause a lot of people they'll be pushing, and this is them, and then the guy would be all the way to their left, right there, which is why, which is um why it's important to know your centering. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else, like basic tips. And just be smart, like, with your plays. Like, don't panic when somebody's pushing. Like, if a guy was pushing right here and you're one shot, don't go around like this. He's going to expect you to do that because, you know, they most of the time they have headphones on. So, like, just think. Like, use what you have around you. Don't just think straight to, I'm going to kill him or I want to push him or I want to impress somebody spectating you. Or to do something cool. Like if a guy was going around that corner. I know not everybody pops stims. But I recommend even after the nerf. Pop using stims. Because trust me. They, they're they they're not as good as they used to be. But they do help you in some situations. So I'll say like maybe pop a stim. If you don't have one. Then just try to like maybe get around this wall. Lay down. Because you're going to have him confused. When you lay down he's going to think you did this. Or go behind this box maybe pop a plate um like crouch look where he is if he isn't right there maybe try to move look move look and then just recenter yourself but don't always just like say suck like you're playing i know a lot in solos people might camp which is all right like i used to do it too but when you're in solos try not to get scared like you get shot or you hear shooting do not just go behind that wall or go in a corner Cause I used to do that and one day my cousin told me to just rush and I ended up dropping 20s three two times in a row so yeah just you know be smart when you push don't just push thinking you're gonna get the kill because that's not always what it's gonna be and then sometimes you die you die just learn from your mistake like look into detail what you think you could have done that if you did you might have stayed alive and also look at what cost you so that you don't do it again. Like a guy's pushing you, don't go on top of the box and expect to do something. Or if you know a guy knows where you are, don't keep trying to force it. Like I literally, right before this, I'm playing a game, the guy knew I was going up the ladder, but my teammate was there. And I just kept forcing it and I ended up dying to him. Like don't, don't force it. Don't force yourself into a fight, just don't. Trust me, it causes you to die. I understand you might want to kill the guy, but I mean, just be smart. And always be good with your communication. Like, there's a guy popping a loadout over there. Your teammate might not see him. Make sure you tell him. Because communication is key. Like, trust me, communication is one thing you always want in this game. Any game like Fortnite, um, all these shooter games that involve, like that involve like when it comes to shooters games with guns and um, like a war zone not a war zone a battle royale any game with battle royale you should always at least have you should always have good call outs because i mean once you die i play rebirth i don't play regular so i don't i don't die and go to gulag so once you die and your teammate dies that's it so just